That's literally how fast this is. Can you tell maybe which one is my favorite? Stir fried rice heating up. We've got the shrimp cooking. I have flipped them already. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Katie. So this is night number one of my favorite Trader Joe's dinners. They're my go-to. This one takes a little bit longer than most, so I wouldn't say these are all quick, but it's generally five ingredients or less. And this one tonight is three ingredients. And really it's just three products that you can find at Trader Joe's and you put them together and it gives you a really nice meal for the middle of the week. We have the spatchcocked lemon rosemary chicken, the broccoli and kale slaw salad mix, and it has some sweetness to it. And then the sweet potato gnocchi. I'm gonna preheat the oven, and yes, I found while I was at Trader Joe's today, this apron. I actually don't have an apron, so I bought it, and I kind of feel like I'm from either the cast of Divergent or The Hunger Games, cause it's kind of like a big burlap sack. But it's one size fits all, so there you go. Anyway, let's get started cooking. So I don't know if this genuinely qualifies as cooking, but that's why it's user-friendly for everybody out there, regardless of your skill level. And all you need to do is follow the instructions on the packaging and cook the rosemary chicken for one hour, heat up the sweet potato gnocchi on a skillet, and then mix the salad in a bowl. It's that easy and you're gonna have a fancy restaurant quality meal. Stay tuned. Doubtfire, where she pretends she puts in her resume that she knows how to cook very well. She has master culinary skills and she just orders gourmet food to go and then serves it on a plate to make it look like she made it. Well, this is basically the same thing that I'm doing. Minimal skill for a masterpiece. Hey guys, it's Katie. Today I'm going to be preparing two more of my famous go-to five ingredients or less Trader Joe's meals. I am here to show you guys another two great meal options if you are short on time during the week. They are all Trader Joe's products. They are five items or less. I don't want to say five ingredients because that is not true, 
but five items or less that you can find at any Trader Joe's grocery store and you can buy it all prepared and just throw it together. Voila, you have a gourmet meal right on your table in no time. So the next two meals I'll be sharing with you are my pesto chicken gnocchi, really good, and I use their cauliflower gnocchi, and a chicken curry dish. And next I'll show you on the screen all the ingredients you need to make these two really easy, delicious meals. And I've got them side by side. Hello! Okay, so for the first meal, you're going to need a pound of chicken, which I personally like to get the chicken tenderloins because I tend to cut them up, but you could get chicken breast. It's just less work this way. Then I use I use their vegan kale, cashew, and basil pesto. I use two of the cauliflower gnocchi bags because one bag is two and a half servings. So between me and my husband and leftovers for lunch, I make five servings of it. And then I'm gonna add some roasted broccoli to the meal to bulk it up. As you guys can see, it's five items. Now the next meal I will be making is the curry chicken and rice and how I do that is I'll first make the chicken then I will blend these two sauces together after I get these to a boil I'll add these pre-cut up mixed bell peppers and then I'll microwave this rice and I'll throw the chicken after it's cooked in with this concoction then you just put all of this concoction on top of the rice, and it's a great meal. Let's get started. video I just got home from work let me show you what I'm making I'm pretty excited this one only takes about 15 minutes it's the quickest one of these I think and it's definitely takeout material okay guys so this is my famous shrimp fried cauliflower rice first item is the Trader Joe's riced cauliflower stir fry and I will just honestly fry it right on the stove top and then once that gets cooking I crack two eggs and I scramble them and I put them in the middle and then in a different pan but I will cook shrimp and then once those are cooked because shrimp doesn't take too long I'll add it to this and then last but not least I'll make these guys and I'll show you my little trick to get them fully cooked but also crispy so let's get started. Got my three pans heating up.
what I do to get the dumplings the way I like them, where they're fully cooked but also crispy on the outside. So the packaging will tell you to either microwave them or fry them in a pan. The secret is to do both. So I have my chicken cilantro mini wontons and on the back they give you different type of heating instructions. What I find is best is to microwave and then you heat it up in the pan. So microwaving will cook it all the way through and then when you heat it up in the pan it'll give it that exterior crispiness that we all love. At least I do. And um, makes them really good and like you're eating at the restaurant. So let's get started with these while the other ones are cooking. I'm telling you this is a very fast meal and healthy. Okay, so take however many you want. These are tiny, so I'll probably want like four or five. So you need about this many, and then you're gonna wanna place a wet paper towel over them before you microwave them for, what does it say? One to two minutes. See, steamed, but not quite crisp. These look good. Everything's kind of on a medium heat. And the eggs were, are gonna cook really fast, but I just make this little hole in the center. I'm gonna lower the shrimp. So the shrimp is on low. And then we've got the little donut type of circle. We've got the wontons going. I'm going to turn those in a little bit, but listen to this. Okay, that was not as dramatic of a sizzle as I wanted. But then, kind of just toss it all together because the egg's already cooking. Ooh, you hear that? Fancy smancy. It's like we're at hibachi. Okay, now I put this one on low. And we're gonna put the shrimp in it. Nom nom, Granny. Nom nom. <laughs> hey guys, so the last and final meal for this video is going to be burrito bowls. So for this recipe, I'm doing two bags of the spicy Mexican style rice cauliflower. The organic ground turkey, just one pound. I'm gonna use their taco seasoning. And then I'm going to mix this all in it, the cowboy caviar with the corn and the black beans, just to bulk it up a little bit. So that's five items right there, making it our final meal. And I know this isn't technically five items or less, but I will be adding either guacamole or sour cream or cheese on top. So a little bit of wiggle room. 